Hello everyone, my name is uh, Randy Stroud. I am the owner of uh, SovereignTactics.org. The main content deals with challenging the monopolized system known as the justice system, which is propped up by racketeering. If you don't know, if you don't know what racketeering is, it's basically what the mafia does. It all started for me uh, when I was going to get my car registered and I put it through the emissions test. And the guy at the emissions company, he said, well, um, your car is running fine, but your sensor is not working. Uh, one of their computer sensors. I said, well, the car is running fine. What does it matter? He said, well, state law, blah, 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 says this. So I go look up the part. It's going to cost me $2,000. So I'm thinking to myself, I come here every year and pay these people the same fee for the same damn sticker that goes on the back of my license plate year after year. I'm not going to pay it this year. So I go around with, you know, um, no sticker on my license plate for about a year and a half. And during this year and a half, I'm studying the legal system, you know, the loopholes and, you know, this and that. And then I finally get pulled over. I'm like, well, I've, uh, I've made my bed. Now I have to sleep in it. Uh, I've made this decision. So now I have to fight. And uh, it's led me into a lot of court battles. And I've learned a lot. Uh, I've had many adventures in legal land. And I've learned that um, it's not so much about knowing the law, it's more just about making their jobs difficult. Because in reality, they don't have to uphold any law. You see a lot of these YouTube gurus are like, yeah, you, you just go into court and you cite this Supreme Court case and this law and this code and this statute and they'll leave you alone. That's not true. Um, some of the cases that I've had dismissed, it wasn't necessarily because I quoted the right law or you know said the right things, but just the fact that I made uh, the theft more difficult. Do you have a driver's license? And I was like, well, I'm not, I'm not sure if I have one, and if there is one registered to my name, I don't want it. And then he was like, well, do you have a license plate? And then I was like, I don't, I don't have any of that uh, with me today, no sir. He called my name, he said Randall Stroud, and then I picked up my big lunch box and walked over there, and then I was like, uh, yes? And he said, well, um, your, your cases have been dismissed. And the government's reached a point where they have to hold on to their relevance. They have to constantly remind us that, um, that you know, they're needed. You know, you have to have our services or else you won't be able to function, you know, uh, as a society. But the reality is, is that if there's a demand for something, society will provide that. I promise you, I guarantee you that they will. My whole message um, is, is, is basically, to be self-sufficient, and, that, and, and that's very dangerous um, for a system that promotes the idea of dependency. That's a, you know, self-reliance is very dangerous um, to those who want you to, do, to be dependent on them for everything. The government, they have no natural competitors, so they say, well, uh, we have a monopoly on the roads, on defense, on, on everything. Where else are you going to go? We have no accountability. We don't have to make anything better for you. And if you don't pay for this service, whether you use it or not, we'll lock you up. How's that sound? My strategy basically, as like I said, to inundate their offices with paperwork, um, follow their procedure. It's not about knowing the law. It's about becoming familiar with their procedures and learning how to uh, maximize that to your benefit. Perhaps five or 10 years from now, once this message is, uh, is growing, it's not going to be uncommon for people to start filing motions uh, to dismiss, start uh, sending contract offers to their governors, and then suddenly they're like, whoa, we have a problem on our hands. We have a bunch of, we have thousands of uh, Suedo uh, attorneys that are flooding our offices with paperwork. People aren't supposed to, uh, you know, have this knowledge. We need to pass more laws to make it more confusing. Through technology, logic, and philosophy, we're reaching a point of uh, autonomy where we can hold each other accountable. And, and unless they bring us to a point like North Korea, where just they start just banning technology altogether, uh, it's going to happen. Any, even if they did that, the black market's always going to exist. Um, you know, things get pushed into the underground. They're, they're really just fighting evolution and it's a losing battle for them. I'm very optimistic. A lot of people are, you know, like Alex Jones, God bless him. Uh, He's put out a lot of you know good articles and woken people up, but he preaches these messages of uh, you know gloom and doom. It's martial law. Quit your jobs. Go underground. No, 
I see beautiful things happening. I think um, we're moving into a new consciousness that is happening. And I think that perhaps not in my lifetime, but I, I think that uh, the problem of statism is going to go away. Martin Luther King was constantly told, uh, well, if you don't like our laws, then why don't you leave? If he took that advice, we might all, you know, uh, t today we still may be drinking from separate water fountains. We need people to challenge convention so that we can move forward. Even the Constitution, I have utterly no respect for the Constitution. I used to be a Constitutionalist. I used to love Ron Paul. Still do love him in a lot of ways. He woke a lot of people up. But the Constitution is bullshit. I'm sorry, people. In the Constitution, you know, people uh, get angry about the Patriot Act, the NDAA. People constantly bring that up about how those two things are taking away our rights. George Washington took away people's rights from day one. He had protesters locked up for opposing the revolution. Had them locked up, no trial. No, they don't get a trial. It even says in the Constitution that insurrections, in the case of an insurrection, rights can be suspended. What we're doing right now, this can be considered an insurrection. It's all up for interpretation. You know, it's, it's much like a religion. Politics gets us nowhere. You know, we have this party, we have this ideology, we have this, we have all this, this arguing that goes on, and we keep creating these laws, and we have to go back and undo laws, and then we pass more laws, and it just, we're just zigzagging. And then there's guys like, um, you know, people from Cop Block, like I mentioned, uh, Bitcoin, uh, these 3D printers, these, uh, these people have these ideas of creating alternative societies. They're like, you know what? I wash my hands of all this. I'm not going to try to reform the system. Let's create something totally outside of that. Let's just decentralize everything so that the best solutions can rank supreme. That's all we're asking. Trust the trends, people, because freedom is inevitable and it is going to happen. And uh, so you better get used to it.